Here's the update. Got the wiring harness, wrapped it up. Now just trying to figure out where everything goes. Everything is labeled. There's only like four or five plugins left from the harness after you ship it and they send it back. This is off a Mark III. This is what you have to use. Everything's labeled, so that says coil. Then these are for the knock sensors. This blue wire for the alternator. These red wires go to the battery terminal. Uh, there's one wire that I can't figure out. I'm gonna feel stupid, but somebody tell me what VSS means. I don't know where it plugs in. So let me know in the comments below. Um, and we got this wire right here. This is the MAF sensor. See everything's labeled. For the ground, I used the stock ground connections from the Mark 1 and the ground that connects to the ABA trans. So there's that. There's a ground right here that goes to the wiring harness. You gotta make sure that's in a good spot. Now for the fuel lines, I'm still trying to figure it out. I haven't been able to crank the car over yet, so it's, uh, just going to see how it goes. Then for, yeah, I'm using this fuel pressure regulator right now just to see because I'm using a Walbro 255 fuel pump and it's puts out a lot, so just testing. Um, this, I'm not sure. I feel like I'm gonna have to end up taking this engine out again and bashing this in. Let me know whoever's done this, at what, what to do with this part. Um, or if anybody has any suggestions, let me know. Maybe let the saws all and chop that. I don't know. I don't really want to cut things or hit things, but might have to. Interesting. So, everything is ran through a hole in the firewall. Keep the ECU in here. Uh, these are the relays for the ECU and the fuel pump. And there's a wire for the fuel pump. But, I I don't know why it's there unless it's for the ECU to control the fuel pump. I don't know because the fuel pump turns on anyway. I know that because I turned the freaking ignition and I didn't have the fuel lines hooked up yet and it fucking shot gas everywhere. That is dumb. But it's okay to be alone. <laughs> I got my wiring harness set up to use the Mark III gauge cluster because my gauge cluster for the Mark 1 doesn't work. But, yeah. Oh, ignition. So, for the ignition, you undo uh, your little plastics that come off of the whatchamacallit, and you unplug the ignition and you tap into the black wire. I repeat, I repeat Replete. I repeat, it's the black wire. And on the plastic right next to the black wire, it says 15, number 15. You want to tap into that, and that is your ignition wire, and that's how you will start the car. Now for the things that I still need, as far as I know, is figure out this throttle cable. And hopefully I can come up with a creative solution for that. And then, for some reason it won't shift into gears anymore. I got all the shift linkage hooked up. 
but someone was telling me that I need to change this part that goes into the trans. If anyone's ever done this before, let me know if I do have to change that or if I just have to change or if I just have to adjust the uh, shift linkage rod thing that's under the car. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, the clutch cable. I still got to connect that. Oh, and CV axles. So the CV axles I'm going to get are from a 1985 Volkswagen Cabrio. And that, that's so that I can use the stock hub size. So 100 millimeter diameter for the axle flanges on the O2O transmission off the ABA. Um, I think right now that's pretty, probably pretty much it. It's getting kind of nippy outside, and sorry I haven't been uploading anything, but it's pretty darn cold. Um, I'm gonna try and get this done, hopefully, and hopefully be driving it soon. I will keep you guys posted on everything I do, and I'll start remembering to upload more and keep you guys updated. One more thing. The ignition wire, or the wire that runs from this to this, freaking broke, so that's another predicament. I got a lot of a lot of working out to do, a lot of figuring out, but it was pretty cool to hear the fuel pump turn on today and still can't crank it over because I don't got this shit figured out. I still got to get the water pump pulley on there and the water pump pulley I'm using is off of a VR6. And... So for the throttle cable, I've heard that you can use the throttle cable out of the Mark III. Um, where it hooks up to the pedal inside the car, it's like a plastic ball. You can get that plastic ball off of there and it's metal underneath and you can like bend it so that it'll hook up to your throttle pedal inside the Mark I. And it'll just hook up right to that because obviously this is from that car, so. Uh, wish me luck. It's almost a winter wonderland out here. Um, it's been snowing a little bit here and there. But yeah, um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Standing out here in the cold for you. I know some of you wanted an update. Uh, I didn't realize anybody cared. <laughs> so, this is your update. Hopefully you liked it. Leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think. And what you think of my progress. It's very slow progress, but I'm trying. Okay? Yep. And as soon as I, as soon as I do this, I'll just know how to do it. So I can do it again. And it'll be much quicker and uh, not so much of a learning curve. Okay. Peace out, guys.